Oh yeah, here we are sitting in Britain Ferry. So we've done the first video where we've come into Britain Ferry and we've left at the first exit. So what we're going to do now, continuing to listen to the sat nav so that you can hear the conflicting information that that gives you or the different wording um, while paying attention to the floor markings, the road signs that will be to the left, also indicating and checking mirrors and acting accordingly, which is all the things that you will have to do. So I'll give you a full talk through as we're going through the roundabout as well. Now, we're coming out of the village of Britain Ferry, so we will be taking the fourth exit for Swansea. When we get onto the roundabout, um, or even before we get onto the roundabout, we've got to select a particular lane, use a particular indicator, etc., etc. Um, we'll have traffic lights on approach, so we may have to stop, we may have to continue. We'll see what happens when we get there. When we get onto the roundabout, we'll initially hug it, and then we've got a decision to make either go in the right hand lane if there's traffic coming down from McDonald's or if it's possible to get into the left hand lane if there's no traffic coming from McDonald's and go the whole way around the roundabout on the very outside. If we're on the inside lane we'll effectively be in what they call the centre lane because we don't want to go around the geratory system again and go through the spiral part of it and keep going round and round and round in circles. That would be a little bit stupid to be honest. Um, so we'll just have a look at the floor markings, have a look at the words, have a look at the signs, listen to how I describe it, also listen to the sat nav in the background with regards to what could be perceived as, hmm, what would we say that is, conflicting information, because it use different words and it doesn't tell you to look out for signs, etc, etc. So you've still got to do all of that work yourself, okay? So this is only a guide to help you with regards to the, the direction of travel and what you'll be doing, okay? So, let's get on with it then, is it? Okay, so here we are, coming down through the village of Britain Ferry now. Park cars on either side of the road, gets a little bit narrower, check your mirrors, make sure it's safe to move out sufficiently to avoid the cars. Probably about a door width. You can see the van now is coming over towards your side of the road, check your mirrors, come off the gas. And just slowly go through, making sure you have sufficient room on either side. If in doubt, check it out. Don't go into the gap if you don't feel there's enough room, regardless of whether you've sat in the car and watched other people doing it. It doesn't mean it's safe to do. Remember, when you're on your driving assessment, you are being tested to see if how you drive is safe and controlled. Those are the main two aspects that they're looking for. They need to feel safe when they sit beside you and they need to see that the vehicle is under control. So a little bit further along, they would give you the direction at the roundabout, fourth exit, signposted for Swansea, or at the roundabout, fourth exit, right, signposted Carmarthen, or something along those type of words. So this is how we do it, and listen to the sat-nav, and listen to how I describe mirrors and everything as we approach, okay? And the signs do come very, very late. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A48. Okay, so just as you pass this junction, you check your centre, right mirror, right indicator. You get into the right hand lane here, check out the pedestrian crossings that they're not likely to change. There it is, M4 Swansea painted on the floor for you. Go Lights right on green. the roundabout and take the fourth exit. There's the sign to the side of us there on the left, so here we go. We're going to go on to the roundabout now. We're going to hug the roundabout. There's nobody coming from McDonald's on our left, so we're going to get into the left-hand lane here now. We're keeping the right-hand indicator on, and we're going to follow the roundabout all the way around on the outside. Keep the car out as far as you can, and then we turn as late as we can and as Take wide as we can. Take the exit, A48, then turn left. Cancel the signal. There it is in front of you, Swansea, staying in the centre of your lane, no need to signal to leave because now you're on the carriageway. Continue now to increase your speed when you get onto the bridge. Build your speed before you change the gears. After half a mile, turn left, A483, towards Swansea. And that's all it is, guys. The road position is vital so that you stay on the outside of the roundabout. So there's After the sign. 800 yards, turn left. Turning left, 
doesn't say anything about traffic lights, it doesn't say anything about choosing your lane, but as you can see now it's painted on the floor clearly, SC, so left hand lane on approach of the dual carriageway, okay? As we come over the brow of the hill you can see the car in front braking, so we start to brake where it says Swansea here and we can see the traffic lights. So we brought the speed down to about 40 now, we're going to further check our mirrors and reduce our speed, turn the signal on about here, continuing to brake now, Turn left. clutch goes in, so we're rolling Swansea. now with control on the brake. We haven't changed gears or anything to come to a stop, change to first ready to move off. So the sat nav is just telling you to turn. It's not saying anything about the traffic lights or anything. So you've got to do all of that work for yourself, guys, okay? Just set off, nice gap between us and the car. Change to second, now. And there we go, we just simply turn the corner now, nice and gentle, nice and gradual. As we come out the other side, cancel the indicator if it hasn't canceled. Check your mirrors, look for new road markings and new signs, and off you go. And we're still in a 50 mile an hour zone at this stage, so we're gradually increasing our speed, going through the gears, and occasionally checking our mirror. So here we are, we're coming up to the last now intersection, geratory system, roundabout, whatever you want to call it. We see the Ford, we're starting to break. Two lanes initially on approach, Swansea is signposting in the left hand lane. Then it turns into three lanes as you look a little bit further ahead. Looking at the signs now on the right hand side. But these keep two left. lanes keep going to Swansea and it says keep left. It's very interesting, but you'll see shortly. So braking just by the garage, down into third gear, clutch up, off the brake, and there you are, keep left. Look, there's a segregation from the roundabout. There's an island protecting you on the outside. You don't get involved with the roundabout at all. There it is, signposting for Swansea again. And you don't have to pay attention to the roundabout lights or anything because you're outside of the roundabout. Remember in the last speed sign you've seen was 40 mile an hour. When you get to 40, that's it. Not forgetting, of course, guys, to check your mirrors, slow yourself down accordingly and get into the appropriate gear. Check out there's no one on the pedestrian crossing. Check out there's no buses. Constantly checking if anything in front of you is going to happen, you've got an escape lane. That being, are there cars beside me coming up on the outside of me too fast? Would I have the opportunity to move out if there was a bus pulling out of a bus stop or anything like that?